In this video, I will show you how the genetics coat color forecasting works. Now on the top menu, you click on genetics. And you will see on the left side, you have sire on the right, you have dam. Now, uh, ordinarily, you can select the sire here once you've populated your dogs with their genotypes. Uh, right now, no sire and dam uh, are populated. I will show you in a moment how that works. Um, you can always enter the values manually. Uh, let's say, for instance, you know of a sire uh, that you would like one of your females to mate with um, and you want to do the, the coat color forecasting, you can just add uh, the values for the sire uh, manually here. Now, let us uh, do a test uh, for the sire. Um, the A locus, I'm going to do AA. And for the K locus, KY, KY. Now the uh, phenotype is black. So phenotype is what the dog looks like. And genotype is the, the actual genes that represents uh, what the dog looks like. Uh, for the dam, I'm going to select ATAY. For the A locus and the K locus will also be KY, KY. Now, uh, the phenotype here is sable form. Uh, now you can click on the forecast offspring button. And you'll see in this case, 50% of the puppies uh, will likely be black tricolor and 50% sable form. This is a forecast. In uh, actual fact, it might differ. It, it, it might be different uh, uh, ratios, but these are the puppies that will uh, most likely be born. This is the ratio. So if you have 10 puppies, five puppies will be black tricolor and five puppies uh, will likely be uh, sable form. Now, I will show you how to uh, configure it so that you can actually select your sire and select your dam. Uh, if we go to dogs, let's go to Abigail. Uh, you click on genetic data on the left and there's one option here coat color so uh, let's edit the genes and for abigail it's ATAY and KYKY let's save this um, okay this is the uh, the phenotype and now we'll go back to dogs and we will select, uh, let's say we just select Ajax and we go to genetic data on the left. We edit the genes and for Ajax it's AA and uh, the K locus is KY, KY. We'll save this. Now the phenotype is black, of course, not very likely for a golden retriever, but this is just to show you how this functionality works. Now, if you click on genetics at the top again, uh, you will now see that you can actually select a dog. Now we only have one of each configured, so let's select that one. You see the values change automatically. If you need to add a value here, you can just do that. And for the dam, we'll select Abigail. And now you can forecast the offspring. You will note that uh, when you make a change, let's say we put this as BB, um, it remains white. It doesn't become green. It only becomes green once you also select a color for a different uh, on the other side. So if both the sire and the dam have uh, a locus selected, then only does it become green, and then only is it taken into account when uh, doing the forecast.